Hello everyone. Hello Libra. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to do your reading. Thanks for stopping by. I hope everyone's well. Welcome all newcomers and welcome back to my beautiful subscribers. Thank you for joining me. Let's take a look and see what Libra in Love has in store for you for the second week of July. Let's see. We have Ten of Swords. Libra, what the hell happened? Something has come to an end, and it was not a very pretty ending. You felt like you were a pincushion. Whatever happened in this relationship, Libra, it looks as though you took a lot of knives to the back or pins to the head. I mean, that is really exhausting energy. It is Gemini energy. It looks like somebody really either insulted you or they just, you know, they had a lot going on. They had a club, club wed, <laughs> a club of people that they thought, you know, had thinking would marry them. Okay, so let's see what the current energy is. I'm so glad that's a past energy, Libra. That's horrible. I'm sorry that happened to you. So the current energy that you have is the Eight of Swords. Okay, Eight of Swords is still Gemini energy. So you may have Gemini in your chart. You may be dealing with the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But when we get the Eight of Swords, look at this. This is a big angel in a cage with the lid open. So I see this as very self-protective energy. I really see this as sort of like healing on steroids. You really know that you will go out in the world again, but you do not have it in you at this moment. So for this week, I really see you uh, being self-protective. You're very aware of it though, because you absolutely have those beautiful angel wings. And you know that you will fly again, but you'll do it on your terms. So, very empowering card in this particular deck. I like it. You are being protected by guardian angels, Libra. You really are. So I'm happy for that. So let's see what the energy is in terms of the overview of you going forward in your love life. Two of Swords, you're not overly open to it this week, okay? But when you look at this person, what a charming hat. Look at that. The hat is a bird, bird's, uh, you know, like, a, not a bird, a, a birdhouse, right? A birdhouse with the birds on top. You're going through life right now with blinders on. You're just like all about feeling the good stuff. You know, you see the negativity. You, you see what's going on. But you're also just, you know, you're hanging out there in your space of healing. Now, Rosie is barking at me because she wants to come up and say hi, 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 hi. Can you stand right there? Can you tell everybody hi? Oops, she doesn't feel like that. It's like, Mommy, I don't like to stand on the table. So I guess I'll put her right here on my lap. Okay. Miss Rose, lay down. Lay down. Can you lay down on Mommy's lap? Can you lay down, please? <laughs> she wants her walk. Usually we're out walking at this hour, but since it's so nice and cool out, here she goes, she's laying down now. Um, so back to the reading, sorry about that interruption. Okay, so let's see how people are viewing you, suitors, people who could be a new love interest coming in or an old love interest coming back. So how are you being viewed, Libra? Let's look at that energy. Oh, the Nine of Swords, you feel like everybody is coming on to you too much, which then explains this. <laughs> You're like, I'm not ready for the onslaught of all the eyes that are on me. So I would say that this would be a good time to take yourself off of social media, you know, to take that time out for yourself. You're very much needing to, uh, time to retreat right now. So that's what I get for the energy. Everybody's looking at you. You look great. You're just not ready to have a relationship. Look at those. Somebody is falling in love with you. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups energy. There is someone who loves you. Um, excuse me, not Eight of Cups energy. Queen of Cups. Um, it shows that somebody has is looking at you with a lot of intensity and they feel a lot of love towards you. It is Cancerian energy. It's the it's the Queen of Cups energy. I said I call that all kinds of cups, but the Queen of Cups energy. In their heart space, somebody loves you, they adore you. They I feel as though, but with the cups energy, we have like the crab. 
you know, the animal that moves sideways on the beach instead of taking a direct line towards you. So somebody's around you. They're watching you. You might be watching them back with that bird, the birdhouse on your head. Okay. The high priestess energy. So the way forward will be through intuition. The way you're going to know the person that's right for you is going to be intuitively Cancerian energy again. The person that is interested in you is very intuitive about your nature. It looks like they've observed you silently for a while. They haven't spoken yet. So I'm getting that they think that you could be the one for them based on what they see in an outward profile. So we get the world card, it's sort of like the World Wide Web, you know, how you look in the, in the stratosphere, in the universe, you know, on your social media, on your dating app, on your, you know, however you're presenting yourself, whether it's business, because I do get the feeling that many of you talk for a living or do consulting work. Um, you do something that really requires intellectual dexterity. And it looks as though this person has done very well for themselves. They've been very successful in their life. And they want someone who can be at their side. And they want somebody they can truly love. But they also need a good person, a match for them intellectually, you know, socially, um, you know, from the perspective of really being equals. I see your person is somebody who's very loyal, very faithful, somebody who wants to build a home, somebody who has is deep in their feels. So again, you could be dealing with a Cancerian Pisces or Scorpio. You're finishing out the week right now in the basic reading here. We're going to go to the extended momentarily to find out more about who's coming towards you and more about this uh, Queen of Cups energy. But right now, Four of Swords, you're very much in healing mode. Very much, uh, you know, that's Libra energy. That's your energy. Finding your balance, taking it easy. But what I really love about this card, look at how beautiful it is. That is a person who's hanging on the moon. So you're very optimistic about your future. You're just not quite ready to get up and, you know, go out and, and date a lot at this time. So I'm going to clarify the cards and give you the table shot. Let's look at that and let's see what we have here for you. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords, what happened to our Libra friends with the Ten of Swords energy. What was happening with this Ten of Swords energy? For Libra, tell us about that. Ah, somebody came towards you, and it looks as though they were married, and it looks as though they rushed in. Where fools fear to tread, and it does look like. Let's see how you felt about this person. Well, you cut them out of your life, Libra. There you are, the Libra Queen. So, but it, you know, you were attracted to this person. This is person. This is a person that really did affect you mentally, emotionally. Um, it shows that for many of you, you may have really developed feelings with this person through a work environment, especially a project that you could have been working on. I feel as though it was very much. Um, sort of an accidental situation. I don't think that you went out seeking this. You really are holding yourself back because at the end of the day, this person told you that when pigs fly, they'll leave their wife or their, you know, their husband or whatever, however that works. So the Page of Cups says, you know, I have a smelly fish in a cup and I'm like a little kid and I'm not really grounded and whatever I offer you, it's not worthy of you is what I'm seeing. It really is not worthy of you and you know that. And so you have this really strong intuition and and ability to just keep yourself separate from this person. I like the energy for you. You're self-protected and you should be. So the Two of Swords, what is it that you are thinking about while you're hiding away under the beautiful bird's nest? You seem to be at peace. There you go, Libra, finding your balance again. Beautiful energy, justice card, being very realistic about what it takes to have a true blue relationship. And you want one that has marriage as an option. Justice card is all about the, the marriage certificate. It's about the contract of marriage. It's the seventh house of marriage. And you want that or forget about it. Yeah. 
here's what I'm getting also, is that while you're all up in your head, the Nine of Swords, you are leaving troubles behind. You're really working on yourself. You're tuned into you. You're investing in yourself, which is, you know, really the best thing that you could possibly do. Um, I'm also getting that you have the Wheel of Fortune is on your side. So I really like this. Look at this. This could be somebody who's younger than you, okay? Could be somebody who's younger or somebody who has children or both. <laughs> but we see this Wheel of Fortune Sagittarius energy coming in here with the Page of Pentacles. So somebody's going to ask you out on a date. And it looks like the time frame to me would be within the next four weeks. That's the way I read timing. So I do think that you will have a request from a very, very sincere person within four weeks. And uh, we'll see if you're going to take it. But let's finish clarifying these. Let's see, what is the high, why is the high priestess here? What's the message? Okay, so intuitively you're really on the lookout for people who are coming in as players. You know, if they're just in it for the night, if they're just all about the excitement, you know, the old sort of F-boy routine or F-girl routine, you're not really in it. You're not in that environment. You're not, you're intuitively really paying attention to that. Yes, here we go. We have you getting into a situation where you're leaving sadness behind, and as you heal, you are ascending in the way that you know you need to ascend. And I also have the Six of Wands. A lot of eyes are on you right now, Libra. Whatever you're doing out there in the world, you know, it shows that a lot of people are paying close attention to you. You're getting a lot of attention. And in so doing, you ascend into this beautiful love that Spirit's bringing in, the Ace of Cups, a new love relationship, something that's going to be quite thrilling. And the Death card says that you're going through a transformation, you know, out with the old, in with the new, you know, whatever happened in the past up here to disappoint, to hurt, to, you know, really, you, you have made a final decision and you're taking Spirit's advice not to contact this person. I think you're blocking them. I feel very much that they were juggling too. And um, you've put an end to that. You're really, and you're really healing. You're in a good space. So for the third party situation people out there, you know, you're, you're in this energy, you know, you no longer want an apology from them because you don't want to talk to them. You also want a lover and I do get that the biggest hold that this person had over you was they may have been a very, very fine physical companion for you. Um, it looks like they tried to manipulate you with that devil card. It looks as though they, they did a pretty good job of manipulating you in terms of your emotions. And But I really love this because you're healing. You are really being like you know, good to yourself. Let's look and clarify that, that devil energy. The devil energy, as you look at that card, it's a really sexy devil, glitter in his hair. He makes a beautiful offer, but the strings that are attached will make you feel like you are their puppet on a string. So let's clarify that for you. Let's see what the bridging energy is going into the extended for you. For those of you who would like to see that, yeah, you're not interested. Yay, Libra, you are not interested. So let's see what's the bottom of the deck right now. We, oh, Empress Energy. So that's a bridging energy into the extended reading. So Libra, I'm going to leave it here for now. You have a really, you have your feet on the ground. You're manifesting what you want. You're doing all the right things. You're making all the right moves and you're giving yourself time to absolutely heal. So when we look at this beautiful Empress card, that is you manifesting. So Libra, I'm going to go into the extended and we're going to, in the extended, we're really going to look, take a look and see what happened with this person. I'm going to use a shadow deck. Why were they cruel to you in the way that they were cruel to you? And that's how I perceive it. Uh, or they were at least not very kind to you. And then we're going to look at your new love energy and see what this devil is about. Because I think this person's going to try to come back. So that's what I'm seeing. I feel as though they come back. I feel as though they're, they're going to ask, you know, oh, please, Libra, you know, let me have you. And I love you and I miss you. And it's, 
you're bored with it. I, you don't do it. You don't go along with it. But oh my God, the temptation and the pull is strong, Libra. So let's go to the extended. If I don't see you until next week, have a fabulous week, Libra. Thank you.